Hey guys, Badinfos here and welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to speed up your dying laptop. I bought this laptop in December 2012 and currently it is driving me crazy. It boots up in 4-5 minutes, it takes several minutes to start Chrome, Mozilla, a video even to play, so it drives me crazy. This is an Acer Aspire, the current model is on the screen, you can read it, and I'm gonna speed it up today. Some people are gonna say, just scan it for viruses, it's gonna fix the issue, or just reinstall Windows, it's gonna fix the issue. Well, these are good options which you should try before you do what I'm gonna do today, but if you're willing to invest 30, 50 max bucks on an SSD, just do it guys, do it, this is a completely awesome upgrade. Preferably you should go for half a terabyte or a terabyte SSD, but if, you're do if you don't have that much cash, then go for something cheap. I bought a Samsung Pro 850 Pro version, which is gonna definitely speed us up a lot, but you don't need something this expensive, you can buy something a lot cheaper for 30 50 bucks to speed up your SSD. So if you're willing to just invest that much cash, then I encourage you to do it, because this is gonna save your dying laptop. So this tutorial is gonna be about the installation of an SSD onto a laptop. This guide is gonna be easy to follow, but if you have any questions, then leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer everybody. So guys, let's begin the installation of the SSD. Alright, let's flip it upside down. On the bottom you're gonna notice a few covers. One is your battery and the other one contains what you need. Step number one will always be to take out the battery. You don't want any power as you're working on it, because you don't want to short circuit it or even electrocute yourself. On the bottom you notice two screws which hold the bottom cover. Unscrew them both. This might hurt a bit and might be scary but you need to open it up. Don't bother being gentle here because that won't do it. You need force to open it up. Stick a screwdriver in it and pull as hard as you can. Once you take it off you'll see hard drive, the Wi-Fi card and RAM. My machine even has two sticks. What we're looking for is the HDD. You need to take it out. This could be a bit tricky. First, make sure that no screws are holding it in place. Pulling it on its own is not a good idea. Instead, I suggest shoving a screwdriver on one end and pressing it gently to the left. It might be stuck, so force may be needed to pull it out. Take your time, it's a very fragile piece of equipment. You don't want to damage the slots or any of the moving parts in the HDD itself. And here we go, it's out! Now we need to take it out of its tray. This is no easy task as well because if you have never done it before, they can be very tight. With a lot of force, you'll be able to do it. You need to unscrew all four of the screws, two on each side. And here we go, it's now free! Place your SSD in the same orientation the HDD is facing and move the tray to your SSD. On the sides you'll find the same four holes you saw before. Simply use the same screws and lock it in place. The SSD is a bit smaller, but if you screw both sides, it won't matter. It fits just fine. And nudge it in place. You can use your fingers or a screwdriver again. Take your time, you don't wanna damage the ports. Push this plastic down, take your cover and put it in place. Screw both of these back. And place your battery. You are ready to power it on. First we need to enter the BIOS. In the BIOS visit the boot tab and change your boot priorities. Your SSD needs to be boot option 1 and boot it up. Install Windows and you're all set. And this was it guys for installation, as you can see it was super easy to do, if you follow this guide correctly you should have no issues doing it yourself. I saved my laptop, it is so responsive, so snappy now, I saved you dude. So guys, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section, I'll try to answer everyone and you can check my other tech videos if you want. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.